Hello everyone. Let me try to get ready. Okay. Okay, looks like we're good. I was, I was wondering why YouTube was taking its sweet time. So... Now, let's say it's, uh... It's Wednesday, technically. But... No, just, just, just say it's Wednesday. Okay. So I guess we gotta, you know, brave the ocean. No problem there. Let's just get ready. Um. Oh, if I said it's Monday, I couldn't. Oh, well, I, I don't really need the sharp beak, actually. There's the the chick. Oh, are you allowed to go in here yet? Oh, I guess you are. Look at you guys. The first battle tower. Take the ultimate trainer challenge. Oh. Oh, hi there. Okay. I have to scroll down for chat. Um, you can only use three Pokemon. It's so hard to decide. Here it is. The first battle tower ever. Um, hi Maxo, hi Nor. I somehow speed ran five weeks of work and I did okay on my test. Five weeks of work and nine hours once intense. I only got 1.5 hours of sleep. That's truly the college experience. How does this place look? With just bug Pokemon. <laughs> I think I remember I tried this once, but I think I did like open level and I wasn't aware that I fought level 100 Pokemon. Making your Pokemon hold items is the key. Okay. Okay, I never actually like set foot here because I have no business here. Destroyed by the first opponent in no time at all. I'm no good. Wow. The, the children learning like the battle frontier. Here's the battle tower. Look at you can't even get this in the newer games. So there's that. Let me switch to morning. Oh, there's that gentle yellow hue. Do you guys say anything funny? I have to go train them now. We're going to the battle tower. It's a secret, but if you win a whole lot, you can win special gifts. They're like you can. Does anyone know what gifts you can win? Let's see. Although you can't see it, Cyan would. Okay. I let's see. What do I do? Oh well. I guess it was decided. I was gonna say I can easily just get to Cyan win as fast as I can. Hmm. Oh god, I'm tired. This week is this week. My work week needs to end. I'm so exhausted every time I get home. It's like, uh. Simon, eh? <coughs> you know what? I think I can beat Price, Jasmine, and Chuck today. I really do think so. Because they're all so close in level, and technically Jasmine is the strongest. The level jump between Price and Claire. Like, once you get to Claire, you're like, wait a minute. It gets, like, hard all of a sudden. Well, this is good experience. I... Hmm... At least Johto, don't you think Johto has a, no. I was gonna say, don't you think Johto has a bigger ocean, but this literally feels like... <coughs> the swim from Fuchsia to the, to Cinnabar, I guess. I forget how land, how, what is it, landlocked, I guess you can say, Kanto and Johto are. 
your team might be better off. Well, I can't right now. I, I don't think I can right now. I tried it after I beat the rocket hideout, but um, the guy was still blocking it. So I think you have to like. I think you have to beat like Jasmine or something. Oh, at least we got the rocket stuff out of the way. Hopefully, we can find some tentacruel. Because they're out here in the ocean. I just don't remember what level they are. Oh, also, I, I do think Mantine is out here. Find any of the last three gym leaders after you do the the Gyarados side quest and the underground. No, I did that. And then I tried to fight Price and he was still in the way. Oh, it doesn't matter. I kind of sequence broke. No, this is good dude. Chuck, Jasmine, and Price. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It'll... It's fine. Shiny Pika. Yes! You have no idea how long it took to get to sh hatch the odd egg to be a shiny Pichu. I almost gave up. Yeah, look, it's my Malibu Pikachu. She has a, a tan. What you doing here, Tacho? What are you doing here in the void? Just background noise, I suppose. Okay, come on, please give me the tentacruel. Shiny tentacruel. Oh, and then there's like the, the, the middle, there's trainers in the middle of the ocean, there's trainers all the way at the end. Maybe I'll do the top and then go to Cyanwood Hill and then just like loop around. Yeah, I think I can do that. Tend to cross more common off the coast of Cyanwood. Ah! I understand. Oh, I'm yawning. <laughs> Not because I'm bored. I'm just, I think I got uh, just comfortable. Trust me, once you're in your 30s, you just sit down and you doze off. I'm that bear from the herbal tea box. Every time, once I get home, I'm just like, oh, laying down. Sitting down, just dozing off. You almost made the cut, Tentacruel. You almost did. Ah, it would have been fun to use Tentacruel, because then we could have seen it in Stadium, but I'm trying to do like a... I was gonna do an all Johto team, right? But of course I failed with using Raichu. But it's shiny. And Raichu was a beast in Stadium 1. That was truly the GOAT. I know Mantine are around here. There it is! There it is! Okay. How do I not damage it? It's looking very... that I like that shade of purple. That's the kind of purple... No, I know. Never mind. It's not purple. I just remembered. I have a, a filter on. I have the, the yellow, the nightlight filter on my computer screen. No, never mind. I'm just kidding. It looks pinker. Huh. There's a remoraid in his armpit. That's his friend. It's the remoraid. Mantine's holding remoraid hostage. That's why you can't catch it in crystal. Release the remoraid. Okay. Let's 
try to catch him. Okay, sleep powder. Now. I only have two. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna... We gotta make them last. I forgot to buy more. Uh-uh. We're not wasting great balls in this household. Are you guys talking Castlevania in chat? It sounds like it. There it is. There it is. Okay. Swims free it swims along freely, eating things that swim into its mouth. Its whole body is very coarse. Tara, you made it. We caught Mantine. We just gotta catch Tentacruel now. We're so close. I'm like, yeah, we're so close to playing Stadium. <laughs> we're like, not even. <laughs> oh. It's just, I really am gonna have to do stat experience grinding all over again. Me no. I mean, I'm probably still gonna have to do it, but it Stadium 1 was just grueling. That was intense. I'm probably gonna- I feel like- okay, I feel like- You know how they say the rentals suck in Stadium 2? The- does that apply to the- the- the AI? The opponent? Like- are their moves garbage, too? Something tells me no. Something tells me they can get away with murder. Is Lance gonna be the... The speedrun ender? Oh, man, is this... <laughs> oh, the, this, the round two Elite Four of Stadium One. <laughs> Oh, man. Shiny? Oh, wow, we're here. Okay. I guess here at Tentacruel, I miss getting random phone calls in Johto. No, you don't. It gets annoying. Oh, well, you, yesterday I mentioned, like, all the cool stuff they did. I completely forgot that the phone feature, it's almost like you're talking to people. You know? <sighs> Hopefully I can- it would be nice to get rematch calls, at least in- in the- the remakes. There it is. At least in the remakes, you were able to, um... Like, the- the rematches, you can call them. You can call them, and then, um... During a certain hour of the day, and then just do- infinite rematches or something so that was a pretty cool feature here it's just whenever they call you by the looks of it yeah 
Yeah, like Dana called me. What if you were playing Gen 4 and then Cynthia just calls unexpectedly? I think the most Gen 4 did, like, in Platinum was when you, you, for some reason, you got a mansion. And then people would just come into your house. That's something I never completed, actually. When it's 80 feelers absorb water, it stretches to become like a net to entangle its prey. You almost made the cut, Tentacruel. Oh, here's the, the comfy music. A port surrounded by rough seas. Would anyone ever live in Cyanwood? Anyone ever lived on an island? Give Dana a chance, she has fun stuff to say. Yeah, I'm just in it for the, the stuff she gives me. Here's this nerd. Yeah, the Pokemon gym are more are macho bullies. If I stick around, they might come after me. <laughs> It's truly the 90s. They probably don't have this in the newer Pokemon games. You probably can't even say bully without getting... Um... Like, I feel like you, there's... Are there any bullies in the new Pokemon games? There probably isn't. I don't know. Everyone want, you want... They just want you to be friends with anyone, and that's not the case. The dispensary... May I have two packs of Smokies, please? Scarlet and Violet has an entire plot about bullying. Is it funny? Oh, that's the- I think that's the guy that gives you a shuckle. And that'll be good for my Pokédex. I'll hold it hostage. So there's bullies in Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> no, but I bet it's just resolves to be friends, right? I I I'm in shock. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. Yo, did the rival straight up like intimidate this person? I like how it said receive the Pokemon. And you think, oh, I'm gonna get something cool. And then you get... Shucky the Shuckle. Oh boy. Um, the character Penny, who is your friend, got bullied out of school, and so she formed Team Star to get revenge on the bullies. Kinda hard for Gary to bully me when he loses every battle, not gonna lie. Yeah, Gary, oh, Blue was funny. Receive the Pokemon. They're like, we can't tell them what it really is. Damn. Team Star doesn't sound menacing. Sorry. Get out of my way. That must have been hard. This lady's so nice, she just gives you fly for no reason. What else is there? The four islands? Oh, I don't even know world islands. I don't even know the map there. I'd get lost. Let's see. Photo studio. And then who's... There's Suicune. I see all, I know all. Okay. Let's try Cherry. The time was night. It seems to have grown a little more confident. Oh! Does she like... Is she the... the does she tell you like if you maxed out stat experience? Let's try Pancake. More confident. Oh, that's cool.
Oh yeah, it's Sky. It's like, oh, Suikin. Wow. Give me your money. Mystical man you seen. Okay. Um, Wolfa should be getting earthquake pretty soon. I can feel it in my bones. Does the new scene have special music? I don't think so, unless that's a remake thing. No, I don't think he ever did. Trust it's crystal. Like, it's... Ugh. I don't think so. Don't blow up. Don't do it. I know Suicune has special music. But I don't think Yusin does. I don't even think in the remix he did. No, no. You're probably thinking Suicune. Suicune? Wasn't Suicune technically the first Pokemon with its own boss music? It is. It was. Well, we, this is the only time you fight you- Oh! Oh! I thought you meant battle music. No, yeah, his encounter music is unique. Right? That's what you mean, right? Yeah, he does. It's his- his tr encounter music. I meant in-game. Yeah, I know Mewtwo has it. Yeah, that song. He's like gassing me up. It's like, damn, Pokemon love you. I thought you meant like battle music. I was like, no, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. <laughs> what does this say? Pokemon. Is this lady anything special? I don't know. Yeah, Wupa gets earthquake. I can feel it coming. I know it's coming. Got some time at work. How late am I? You're not that late. You're just 22 minutes late. I kind of just started, but I think I'm going to fight Chuck because it's not hard. Can't wait to get a Typhlosion. Chris added special music to the... Yeah, and then the... Oh, did the Dragon Den originally not have special music? I, don't, I didn't play Gold or Silver. And Claire has her own music, but I don't remember if that's from Gold and Silver. Oh, I think I need strength in this gym. Damn it. Ugh. How dare they curse me with these HMs? Let's see Pancake behind. The Dragon Stand used to regular cave music. Wow! Okay, I didn't know that. Well, Dragon's Den is a bop. It's really cool. I think it's cool. Okay, this should be easy. We'll get Fly, and then we can stop running around in circles. Uh... Yo, did you guys hear about the, the person that won the, the lottery? Mega Millions, one billion dollars. But of course it's not one billion. That made me sad. I wanted to win the lottery. <laughs> I had a dream I won the lottery and I was like, oh. But no. The theme for the fight against Red makes my neck hair stand up. Oh, yeah. The champion music? Yeah. Truly. Yeah, that one goes hard too. The remake did justice with it. It sounds really cool. Oh. Damn it. That billion probably turned into way less after IRS did its thing. It did. I think it turned into like... 
maybe like 600 million, 500 million. So you, you can't say you're, you were a billionaire. I can't sing, I wanna be a billionaire. Hi Eileen, hi in an original username. Welcome to the party. Yeah, the IRS did its thing and said, they said, isn't that crazy? They're like, this is ours. And then this is yours. And I'm kind of like, uh. Man, I just want to win the lottery, dude. <laughs> if I won the lottery, I'd vanish from YouTube. <laughs> like, there'd be no reason for me to do this anymore. I'd just, like, disappear from... Not even, like, I was telling... Who was I telling? Is it my parents or something? Or... It was someone. I'd be like, I'd just, like, stop... I'd say, oh, yeah, I'm moving. I found a job somewhere else. I'd just, like, vanish from the face of the earth. You think Emerald has the best music? Ooh. And the Sprout, Sprout Tower thing could have been used for something way more epic than getting Flash for beating up a bunch of Bell Sprout. That's how they get you. I know. IRS going, this is mine and this is yours. God! I probably have a better chance of dying. I would never quit my job after winning. No! No! I, I think I was talking to my friend today, and they, they said they would, um... They said I'd cut my hours to not make it suspicious. Just workless, and I'd be like, damn. Thinking about it, if I, if I were to win the money and be like a millionaire, I'd probably get a part-time job but not disclose where I live. I'd quit my job. Yeah, no, you put your two weeks in, and then you call the next day. No, you put your two weeks in, and then you just don't show up anymore. <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard of that happening. I think I my dad's my my dad's job. Some lady was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna put my two weeks in because I think her husband got a job somewhere else." So she put her two weeks in, and then like three days later, she was, she just called and said, "Yeah, I, I'm not coming back." <laughs> Technically, that's grounds to make you what is it unhireable. But shit, if you're leaving the state, may as well go out with a bang. I didn't buy a Powerball ticket. Maybe I should buy one. The drawing's tonight, but no, I'll just do Saturday, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> I wouldn't even put my two weeks in if I win a million dollars. I just told them I'm done. No, you should be you should be like, you're fired. Hey, how did it have Brock's life? If you want a lottery, you don't need to be hired again. I mean, yeah. No, that's because you know, it's like, uh, what is it? Back practice. You want to burn bridges, I guess. Shit, if I win the lottery, I disappear from the face of the earth. And go get, like, a nose job or something. I don't know. I'll do some fun stuff. Get, like, plastic surgery or whatever. Now, I don't need a leaf to heal. Let's use up items. If you tell me to stop streaming, I'll probably hit the- Yeah, if I stop streaming, like, if I just stop everything... I, I, if like if I disappear from YouTube, just know I won the lottery. Either I win the lottery or I died. Both are exciting options. Oh yeah, Tacho won. Then you won like a scratch ticket, and he wasted it on Faye of all things. Oh my god. <laughs> Me getting interviewed in a Ronald Reagan mask after. <laughs> I get like those Helly Hello Kitty purge masks to like hide my identity. When he won a thousand dollars, but a thousand dollars ain't shit in this economy. That may you may as well be saying you won a hundred dollars. No, you may as well be saying you won ten dollars. He spent five hundred on Faye. <laughs> I can't even like laugh because Julie Apocalypse kind of made me do questionable things. Fine, I guess we're even. 500 on Faye. And he has, like, nothing to show for it, because whatever he summoned on got power crept already. It be like that sometimes. In my defense, Faye was a lot more fun. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. I am telling you, a damage reduction was the worst thing they added to the game. Like, people were like, save skills, and when? No. 
No, no. It was Mila. I, can't, I can still use her for AR. It barely. All she does, she can't even, like, fight. I don't, Mila can't fight for shit. You just need her for isolation. Okay, there's Chuckaroonie. Whoopa, do your thing. You're waiting for Fallen Julia Refine. Ha! Should I pop an Advil, you guys? I'm in pain. <laughs> I think my head kind of wanted to hurt. Oh, fuck it. Ugh. The beauties of getting old. You're just a pill popper. Fuck it, I don't care anymore. How many do you take? Doesn't matter. Uh, fun. <laughs> I'm taking pills. <laughs> pills are fun. Oh, too bad it wasn't PM. I would have slept like a baby. We love an iconic queen. Hello, Edward Jones. Welcome. I'm so greedy with headache pills. I never <laughs> use them. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll, I'll pop an Advil because it's time. Popping pills. I've taken edibles on stream and no one has noticed. I don't think anyone knows when I'm faded. Amphi in the lighthouse is the real pill popper. Part of life, you go from having a battle station to a pharmacy next to your PC. I know. Dude, just wait till you're at your parents' house and then they have the cabinet of expired medicine. My, my mom would be like, yeah, just take X medicine. And then I look and it's like expired and I'm like, oh, that's great. I only use it when I gotta drive four hours to my grandparents' house in the mountains. Oh, no. Dude, I don't like driving. I don't think I can drive for too long. I'm too scared to get on the freeway. But that's just being a girl. <laughs> the girl is experience is not wanting to drive. I'm so weak, I take Advil as soon as I get the slightest headache. Polyrath looking like Blue Mike Tyson. That's a nickname right there. That's a nickname. No! Ugh. Dude, when I was in college, I would take NyQuil PM, like, every night. I probably destroyed my liver. I was a different breed in, in college, man. I was built different. I'd, like, take it to sleep, because I just, like, uh, I was just over it. Over everything. I was just like, oh, hopefully I sleep for 20 hours or something, because I'm, I'm done. Just packing full heels. What else? Yeah, I take a bunch of Night Quill. I think I've taken more than the dose that I needed, and I, it fucked me up the next day. <laughs> Ugh. It wasn't until there was like a, a, a med student there that told me, how much are you taking? And I was like, I take what it says. And they're like, I don't think you, they're like, you probably shouldn't take it because you're short. I don't know what that meant. Maybe it's just a, a jab. They're like, it's too much for your body to handle. And I'm like, uh, does it look like I care? <laughs> Live life on the edge. You got the road, like, Took too much Benadryl accidentally and saw the hat man. Oh, no! Or something like, yeah, Benadryl. Benadryl's, Benadryl's also a sleep option. Oh! Oh, you're not- I thought you were talking about Emerald Rogue. Rogue Emerald. Never mind, you're still talking about Castlevania? Okay. I think it's Castle- whatever they're talking about in chat. Whatever the children are doing. I earned Fly! 
You should take this. She's just handing these out like candy. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You'll be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good since he was getting a little chubby. How sweet. You should play Castlevania. Ha. <laughs> Aria of Sorrows, a top five GBA game. Tacho and his little Castlevania. Hey, since I got fly now. Hey, why don't I let me pick up the, the shiny hoo hoo and that can be my ride. Which box are you in? I need to change the name too. I don't want I don't want to call it Ash anymore. I think it's box two. Yes. Here's the shiny hoot hoot. This is my ride right here. Oh, I can't with the I can't with the Johto teams. They're so bad. <laughs> I need to switch your name. I don't like it anymore. You need a better name. Don't mind me just flying half across the globe on my little owl. Wrong place. I love putting raw hacks. Oh, I said the word. Ah! I mean, raw hacks. On my flash cart. Not ash. You were the prophecy. Does that fit? The pro. Pro. No, it doesn't fit. How do you spell prophecy? Pro. Wait, how do you spell prophecy? Oh, <laughs> how do you spell prophecy? <laughs> I swear I went to college. Prophet. Oh, okay. No, I'll just call you prophet. I can spell prophet. Prophet. The prophecy. Hey, I could. Does that fit? The prophet or the prophecy? I'm just a girl, Tacho. Don't judge me. No, that's stupid. I don't want to die. Well, well. Duh. Uh, dap the prof. Or should I call you prophet? I don't know. Oh, hoot hoot from the hood. <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> this is to have a mix like, dropping. I'm almost 20 and still only spell embarrassing right 50% of the time. The prophecy. <laughs> the prophecy. Hey, let's evolve the prophecy. Look what I can do now. What's the fastest way to Mr. Pokemon's house? The prophecy, because I prophesized I was gonna get a I was gonna get shiny um Noctowl. So I can be like Ash from the anime. <laughs> oh. Hey Tacho, since you're here. I'll just tell them that at work today I found... Uh, would you know those old Pokemon books of the, the Indigo League? That they used to sell at the, at the school fairs. Like there was one... The one I found was of the, the Return of the Squirtle Squad. It's basically an episode an episode like in the book i remember i had the the ha the haunted tower one and then looking at the prices in the back the prophecy is gonna take you around johto the situation <laughs> a side note the prophecy is a good name for zatu as per his role in mystery dungeon oh yeah i play mystery dungeon oh yeah trust me i'll uh i'll totally play that Okay. 
we'll take a quick detour. We'll just fight around in the ocean so I can evolve the prophecy. This is important. I need a sweet ride. Okay. I need to mute the sound because I, I hate the speed up sound. Okay. The prophecy. <laughs> uh, this is exciting. <laughs> He's gonna go make dinner. Goodbye, Tacho. See you tomorrow. I guess. Maybe not tomorrow. I lied. See you whenever. Have fun. The life of the party is gone. Don't go, you guys. I swear, I'll keep it entertaining. Level 14. I need my sweet ride. It's level 18, right? I think you evolve at 18. What's up, underrated shinies you like? I like shiny Pachirisu because it has a little pink. It's pink. The little stripe is pink. I think I remember using the, the shiny radar. Yeah, I think I remember using the shiny radar. Oh, shiny Medellin and shiny Driftbone. Yeah, those are good ones too. I like shiny Pachirisu. I like... Huh. Quagsire and honestly, Jump Club have good ones. They're pink. Still mad about Booger Green Zuba. It's not as bad as it as you think. It's it's a shiny you can see at least. Oh, there is that prophecy. It's level eighteen, right? I bamboozled. I think it's 20. Okay. If it's not 18, it's 20 because I don't I don't think I've ever seen a Pokemon evolve at, at like level 19 or something. The prophecy. Deep lore. Once we get to, to the Hoenn games, I, I find a shiny tentacle because I remember finding one when I was young. My favorite shiny. Oh, isn't shiny Zorok? Is it like the body a light or like a? It's gray, and the red is blue, right? It's like a deep blue. Not a deep blue. It's like an aqua blue, I think. Can I be basic and say shiny? Ch no, shiny treasure isn't underrated. Oh, that prophecy. There it is. There it is. There it is. That's sh oh, it's burgundy and purple, right? There it is. Oh. <laughs> Look at it! It's just like in the show! The prophecy just evolved into the reality. <laughs> Glaceon is the best subtle- Okay, here- Glaceon is like a- um, Look at it! Ah! Wait, I need to see what it looks like in battle. Hold on. Glaceon is in the group of the white shinies. White shinies kind of slap. You, white shinies? Oh, no, 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 Okay, okay. It's coming back to me. Underrated shiny. Thanks for bringing up Glaceon. Shiny Auroras. That's an underrated shiny. That's a white shiny, and it's clean. It's a clean white shiny. The prophecy... Look at it, it's that lime, it's a lime green. Dirty white shiny. No, shiny auroras. It's white. It's a clean ass shiny. The problem is that you can't really use it. In a world of mock punch and bullet punch. Dude, I remember I tried, no, 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 no. I tried using it in, um, pristine. Yes, yeah, shiny Auroras is gorgeous. Yes, yeah, see? My taste is immaculate. No, I think I remember I tried using it in a It was one it was a play I think it was a playthrough of like shiny uh, shiny. Moon? Pokemon Moon or, or Ultra Moon? 
I try using it and it's impossible. Even in main game, I can't use it. It's hard to use. Why won't Pokemon give ice resistances? Oh, I feel like ice could resist flying. Don't you think ice would resist grass? You think so, would it, yo? Ice could resist, um... Remember how dumb I felt the first time I found a Hippolyton of the opposite gender? Oh. I was shiny or I said I bred, but unfortunately it's not a very good It's not, it's hard. It's so hard to use. I wanted to use it, I wanted to make it work. And I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't make it work. I imagine in Scarlet and Violet. Sorry, I just have to look at it. Ugh. The prophecy. <laughs> Berlum is another one of my favorite shit. Oh, that one, the. It's red, right? No, yeah, sh my underrated shiny. I'm gonna say shiny Auroras, cause that's a, that's a clean ass shiny. Wait, I need to change the box. The prophecy. Yeah, there my shiny Auroras. Forget Pachirisu. That's I think that's not underrated. It's just a shiny I like. A shiny Auroras is definitely underrated. Then I, I, I'll put um, a vote in for Shiny Glaceon, because that's also a, a clean white shiny. Okay. Let's just fight the rest of the trainers. Amphi can wait. I feel bad now. Okay, never mind. Let me go help Amphi. <laughs> this is just an excuse for me to pick up the, the, sh the prophecy. I always thought I should resist dark. Snow doesn't melt as much. No, I think I should resist grass. Because I should resist ground and grass. Don't you think? Ice covers it. There it is, a shiny. Okay. Just my two cents. Grass and ground should have been resisted by ice. But it, they didn't make it happen, so. I just like collecting shiny stuff, so I have a lot of. I have a lot that I went after just because I like, even though that I know they're bad. How'd you get shiny Auroras? How long did it take to. Did you hatch it right? The reason for grass being good against water is that grass needs water. That makes sense. You see, that makes sense, right? But still, I should have resisted, um. Grass and ground, because ice covers the ground. Plants die in winter. They're, I think they're just being stingy. I'm here, Amphi. Will that medicine cure Amphi? No. I traveled for nothing. Stupid girl. How are you feeling, Amphi? Palu Palulu. Oh, I'm so relieved. I'll return to the gym. Where is she going? This Ampharos lives better than most millennials I know. It's got its own place. It's got a bed and food. That's it. I hatched it in Gen 6. It varies how long it takes depending on how lucky slash unlucky you get. <laughs> how long was it? How many eggs? A thousand? Five thousand? Dude, remember how I keep- I was gushing about something about, um, like, Game Boy Color food? Food in Game Boy Color? Like, look at that! Doesn't that look delicious? It looks like eggs and, like, a hash brown. The square hash browns and eggs and it has a coffee. Look at you! Palu Palu! Oh. It's me! It's you! You said that 20 minutes ago, lady. 
every time I'd see a leg of mutton. Chibi games. No, this just looks delicious. Look at it! Your slime covered walls, you have a bed, you have food, you have coffee, you got it all. Okay, I'll admit, the remake did good by, um... The remake did good... <laughs> ...putting an elevator there. Okay. I guess let's just get experience and then I'll fight Jasmine. Fight Jasmine and then go back and then I can fight, um... ...Price. I still need to try to catch Entei, and I'm probably gonna cheese it with, um, safe state. <laughs> that was funny how we caught Raiko. I was like, it's not, it's not gonna work. And then it worked. Who needs anything else when you have slime-covered walls? And the walls will ooze green slime. You better not have Magikarp. Okay. I was ready to speed it up. Shoot! Maybe I should try for shiny Auroras, but this involves me playing Gen 6. I imagine there's an easier way to get shinies in like Scarlet and Violet, right? Who even knows if Auroras is in that game? It probably isn't. Since they don't want to add sh I don't remember how many specifically, but the worst I've ever had was over 6,000 eggs for shiny Rowlet. I was at after that one off and on for a couple of years. So you mean, you know those shiny hunters? You know when they stream? Do people, well, people actually show up and watch them hatch eggs? Wait, is that a thing? Do that shiny hunters do, like on YouTube or whatever, Twitch, I don't know. Will people actually watch you hatch eggs for like two hours a day, three hours a day? No, I couldn't do that. Like imagine you're, I don't know, you're shiny hunting, the, the Giratina from Distortion World. Someone. You will- you can set up a stream and people will come and watch. Shiny hunting in Outbreaks in Scarlet and Violet is way faster. Yeah, maybe one day I'll try for shiny Auroras because that's clean. Yeah, I've seen highlights of people live streaming shiny egg hunting. <gasps> wow! I know what business to get in. Okay, I gave up after like 15 minutes. That's me. Shit. I mentioned Giratina because Giratina has a really cool shiny. It's a shiny that's like, you look at it and you're like, yeah, that's a shiny, all right? Like, it's what you expect from shiny Pokemon. Mother. It's in your PC. You should do the shiny Pokemon only, only challenge, it would pop off. So, no, it's because I don't have time. <laughs> no, that will never end. Hey, are some of you guys afraid of the ocean? Because I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, I know... What's it called? The, the Stasilophobia or something? When they're scared of the ocean? There's gotta be plenty of people that are scared shitless of the ocean, right? Have you seen the video of the dude's DS crashing after finally encountering Shiny Giratina? No. Their DS crashed? Oh no. <laughs> no, trying to catch Shiny Giratina and then you're trying to catch it in like a, I don't know, a dust ball or whatever. And doesn't Giratina have like limited power points too? So you need to be careful trying- Oh no, trying to catch it! <laughs> trying to catch it and not having it unalive itself. Oh no. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> If you want Shiny Giratina, you're gonna Master Ball it. No, but we need aesthetics. I'd be like Heal Ball, because it's pink and purple. 
But Giratina's a cutie patootie. Dude, once we get to, like, Pokemon Platinum, I'll probably, like, catch Giratina and take it to the Pokemon contest and max out its cuteness and put a little bow on it. Because that's what it is. It's a little cutie patootie. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, I should probably do that. I need to remember to do that. I'm kind of nervous using Hannah, right? Because, um... I want to play Giga Drain on it, but it only has five power points in this gen. So, like... There's only so many times I can use it, you know? <laughs> oh... Oh... I can't believe the sun is out longer. It's throwing me off. I'm so used to being in darkness by now. See. Take it. Yes, that's the plan. Give Get my eventual Giratina a little bow on its head. Now I guess I'll go heal. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like the nighttime, the blue of the nighttime goes so much better with my my layout. My stream layout, I guess, the background. But I just like that gentle yellow morning light. This is so specific, but don't you hate when you stay up too late and want to go to sleep but the sun is rising? That's very specific. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> I think that's a you problem. I have a shiny Giratina that I caught in one of the wormhole things in Ultra Sun that I managed to catch in a premiere ball because I like how that looks with its color palette. Really? Interesting. No! Here's a good question. What's best Pokeball design? Didn't we have a discussion like this before? I think I did. Kurt's Pokeballs have nice ones. There's like the love ball with a heart on it, and then the moon ball, and it has a moon on it. Wah! Dive ball. Okay, that's acceptable. Dive ball. Yeah. Did dive ball ever make a comeback? Luxury ball. Yeah. Oh, get this. When I was doing my little competitive Pokemon in... Pokemon Y, I caught all my Pokemons in Luxury Balls. Luxury Ball. When I go after Shiny, I try to match the Pokeball with the color of the Pokemon. Luxury Ball, I love Moon Balls and Dream Balls. What does the Dream Ball look like? I don't remember. That's what I forgot about. I'll probably have to look it up. Okay, I love the Great Ball reminds me of Salamence. Oh, that's cool. You know, I never really hear Great Ball win that discussion. Like, I don't think I hear Great Ball thrown in. That's cool. What about Heal Balls? Oh, I started to appreciate it. I've always been a Luxury Ball gal. I think I had a friend who was a, a Premier Ball fan. What else? Dream Ball is pink and purple, but different shades than the Heal Ball. I don't remember what it looks like. Huh. Probably have to look it up. Oh, I liked how the Cherish Ball, not, not what it looks like, but I liked... The lights that come out from the Pokemon. It was like, what, rainbow? It was really cool. I remember when, um, playing Gen 4 and then I'd go to, like, GameStop 
get like i don't know i think the last time i went for like gen 4 the last pokemon i got was one of the jirachis and it came in a cherish ball and i liked how it looked oh my god coming out and it's just like the rainbows and i was like that's so extra dude are can you buy cherish balls in the pokemon games I love how the premiere ball says it's it's to commer commemorate a special event, but the only event it commemorates is me not catching anything with it. Jirachi is my favorite mythical. Mythicals. No. Jirachi is just super rare. Can you imagine? I think I saw a video of a guy actually like shiny hunting Jirachi on like a legit copy of like Pokemon Ruby, but they had the, what was it? Colosseum, and there's like a special disc, right? And you can get a Jirachi, but it's like one per save file. And he really was like resetting. He was like resetting, and he really did get it. And I think there's like another guy, I don't know if it's the same guy, but he also did one for Shiny Matafee. And that might just be the rarest Pokemon to Shiny Hunt. Because it's like from Pokemon Ranger, and then you had to like. It's like per save file or per cartridge or something. I don't know what he did. He did something to um, just keep resetting. I remember thinking that the white rock in Moss Deep was the key to getting a Jirachi. I remember Moss Deep being like you can use the rocket, go to space. It's kind of cool how in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that they took that... Um, that schoolyard, that playground, like, lore, that they're like, yeah, you can go to space to catch Jirachi, and they, like, made it real. I got this shiny Jirachi Master Quest ticket for Pokemon Go. And it took me a year to do the first stage where you need to catch 335 of Kanto, Hoenn, and Johto Pokemon. Ooh. I'm only on stage 2 where you gotta have 10 best buddies. Oh no, that sounds too hard. Couldn't be me. Shiny Pokemon. It'll get ya. I think Manaphy couldn't be shiny in the city that you got the egg on, so the shiny hunt hunted yet to get the egg and then trade it to another game and hatch it there. I think it was something like that. But anyways, it was like, just know it was time-consuming, right? And the guy actually managed to do it. It's literally like how to get Sonic in Melee Playground Rumor Instructions. <laughs> you know, but that's literally what happened. Those Playground Rumors. Yeah, I'll probably... I know people opt to play like Emerald over Ruby and Sapphire, but I think I might just play Ruby and Sapphire. Cause I'm, tell I'm telling you guys, there's a different feel. Ruby and Sapphire, and it's the same region, but it's just something just feels different. Or me below the truck, yeah. Man, if he egg is one of cartridges, yeah. So like he was like doing something with it. I forgot what it was, but he eventually got it. Which is crazy. God, how many trainers are out here? And it's kind of special in the way that you need... You could find someone who has the ID you need. Yeah, it's something weird. But just know he did it and... Oh, damn. Like, there's actually a video of it. I think if you look up, like, um... Shiny Manaphy Egg Hunt or whatever. You'll probably see it. It's like a really famous video. Yeah, just look it up. You ever want to see like people? I can't believe people actually like do it. That's crazy. I just don't have time in the day. Like these people, they'll shiny hunt for like five hours. I'm like, I can't do five hours. I'll give you like, I'll be like hour and a half. Take it or leave it. I think I fought everyone. Right.
Why are you guys all so scattered through the ocean? I shiny hunt while watching TV or YouTube. No, I just don't. I don't have time. I don't have time. Just get lucky, like the prophecy. It's a shame I did. I didn't opt to use the shiny knock towel. It's basically impossible to get the Manaphy egg legitimately. Why? I love this place so much. I'm so excited for home. Oh, thank you, Nate. Thank you. Don't forget to leave a like. You know, you could do me a solid and subscribe too. While I journey through Pokemon, my the Pokemon games I played in my childhood. Let's see. We're gonna fight a Jasmine. My Steelix versus her Steelix. Is it after Price's Gym that the rocket shenanigans happens? Because I need to like mentally prepare myself. This is oh. Uh... You cannot tell me people enjoy the the rocket takeover of the radio tower. Like, uh... I'll pro. Oh god, I feel like I just want to speed that part up, dude. Are you a Slugma enjoyer? I've never been able to use Slugma. I mean, you think you'd get to use it in Johto? You know, it's introduction gen. Wait, what What did he say? He uses the newly discovered steel type. I don't know very much about it. Oh. You can only get the Manaphy egg once per card trick. And chances are, if you buy an, an open Pokemon Ranger card, the Manaphy egg is gone. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. The rocket takeover in Gen 2 feels so beaten horse. You don't want to see the prices for sealed Pokemon Rangers. Oh, I can just see it now. If only Slugma could be caught before it can't tell. Wait, Huey, are you a Slugma enjoyer? Have you used it? I think it's cool that in the, in the remakes... Oh, this girl, she's just like me, for real, for real. Talking about the steel types. We could have been friends, Jasmine. We're both steel type lovers. I use Game Shark to get Slugma early. It's cool how in the remake, you get to do that egg thing in, in Violet City. Like, you put like a quote or whatever, and then you can get a Slugma early on. It's just, you know, trying to, trying to make it viable as a McCargo. That's... Uh... Hmm... That's a challenge right there. I like Slickless design and I think I tried to use it on a Sandstorm stall team with Star before. How'd that work out? Okay, soon I'll get Iron Tail myself. I wanted to hack in a level 5 Jirachi for my Pokemon Emerald, but I don't have an emulator. You can totally get one. Just look in the internet. But don't get a Trojan horse. Slugma and Skarmory I thought was Gen 3. Yes! That was me as a kid! It totally me as a kid. It's because you catch them in the route before F Full Arbor Town. And that's cool. I was like, oh, Skarmory, that's sick. And then in this game, you get Skarmory like, by the 8th badge. And Slugma was Kanto only. <laughs> Dude, Slugma could have easily fit in... Where could they have put Slugma? What route in Johto? Uh, Mount Mortar, maybe? Could have been in there. Uh, I was gonna say Burn Tower, but I think that's kind of weird to see a, um, a slug mine. I don't know. Right after Goldenrod or before Goldenrod. Burn, maybe Burn Tower? You're a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. Jasmine looks short, but I think she's the same height as us. I don't know. No, I think she's short. 
Yes, Iron Tail. Thank you. I feel like they could have put it outside the daycare. Slugma? Just in the grass. <laughs> Same with like... Oh, don't even get me started. Mischievous is the biggest... Big sad. Mr. Biz is the biggest sad for me because I love that little ghost. Can you be introducing these cool Pokemon only for them to be your Kanto? That's why you need to play a raw map. A Pokemon crystal that fixes that. Oh, it's just Mr. Mr. Biz is the biggest one I feel sad about because I love that. I love Mr. Biz's design. <laughs> it's so cute. Her hair reminds me of my hair. Sigma is in Burnt Tower in most raw packs. That's true. I guess we can do price now. Look at it. Boss Rush. Uh, just showing off my ride. I got shiny mischievous. It looks awful. Isn't it like yellow green or like green or something? <laughs> Huh. What they could have done, they should have gave it, like, you know how Gengar kind of has a, a, a black body? They could have done Mischievous like that. Mischievous should have gotten that color, and then the tips of the of the hair should have been, like, red or something. Because I know it's, like, originally pink, but it should have been, like, red or something. Yeah. It's one of those weird anomalies, like, Dom fan not being Gen 1. Oh, right. Does so we want to go back to my white tea coffee, but then I remember I'm stuck at the, the Pokemon World Tournament. I need to breed EV train to get a good team, and it's kind of a mood killer. Yeah. I know by, like, Gen 6, Gen 6 started to make breeding easier. I can't imagine how much easier it is post, like, Gen 8. I feel like Gen 8 is when it started to get easier, right? And then Gen 9 is easiest, maybe? Another cool thing about Crystal Clear is that it's fully compatible with all the other applicable Pokemon games. Stadium 2 included, it tricks the game into believing the Pokédex is complete. Wow. I already did the Lake Bridge. What are you doing? Let me through. Wait, what? Oh, I, did. I just remembered. I just remembered. I don't think I finished this. <laughs> I don't think I did this. I think I left and I didn't come back. Oh my god, I just remember. <laughs> I just remembered. I don't think I I um I did the last <laughs> No way, I forgot this. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I could have fought Price and I forgot. <laughs> I think I, I, I just left. <laughs> I remember when I got Pokemon Pearl as a kid and I couldn't get all the cool 4th gen evolutions like Magmortar and Electivire until Platinum. Yes. Um... Seriously, though, are we not going to talk about how Lance straight up committed murder? No, the guy's okay. I left Lance waiting. <laughs> no, I think I, I beat the executive, the first one, and then I forgot you're supposed to put the password here, <laughs> and I just walked away. <laughs> I did that. This is like when you do the side quest. <laughs> okay. Okay. That solves why I could- Oh, man, I broke my sequence breaking. Damn it. I thought, yeah, I guess it would be petrol. And then, um, I got the password and I just walked away. <laughs> Sorry, Lance. I, I got two badges, though. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no one told me. No one told me last- Yesterday. I think it was yesterday. You know what? Even you guys forgot. That's how forgettable the, <laughs> the rocket plotline is. <laughs> I was like, why can't I fight Price? I want a sequence break. I did it wrong. I. <laughs> oh my god. 
Uh, whatever, you guys are to blame too. None of you guys remembered. <laughs> Uh, think of it as a boss rush. The dude's been botting Team Rocket while you were out reviving them and then botting some more to leave you the scraps. Lance drank me to you and his Dragon Eye down there while I was exploring the region. I was the side quest. I had to heal a sick, po a sick Pokemon. My side quest? I was literally catching Pokemon. Evolving the shiny who, who I got two badges. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lance. We, we, told, we did it. Shiny sweet coon. Oh, yeah, that's also a light, a light shiny. We have to make all the electro faint. It's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes you feel guilty. Do you see how he walks forward? It's because he's automatically KOing them. He's so strong, he just goes like hyper beam, hyper beam, hyper beam. Okay. It's gonna. Uh... They're like, do you wanna catch Electrode? I'll try. Lance could have easily beat these people, but he just doesn't. That's true. Maybe he's doing this to give me confidence, I guess. I mean, I could try catching you, maybe? I don't know. I think this might KO. Yup. Where do you even find Boltorb? Imagine one of these is shiny, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Oh, Can these blow up? Oh. Okay. Even the Electro just gave up on life. Boltorb would be on one of the- Oh, yeah, the traps. I was like, do these blow up? And they do. Probably Kanto Power Plant. Yeah, probably somewhere. Uh, I'll try to catch it. Oh, I only have one Ultra Ball left. Damn it. Huh. Ah. <sighs> I really should use that Lure Ball. You know, probably when I was, you know, fishing, it could have worked. I saved you. I can't say the rest for about the others, though. The more energy it charges up, the faster it gets, but this also makes it more likely to explode. Yep. He's walking back like he had problems. You're the hero. I am. Me. Oh, Whirl- I, I forgot. You need to use Whirlpool. The journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Knowing that will keep going. Yes, it's for the views. Goodbye, loser. I, I left them for like a whole last episode. Oh. Oh, I could totally catch... Huh? Oh. Fine. Uh-oh. I didn't know you, you couldn't run away. Never mind, I'm out of here. <laughs> Uh, 
No way. Okay. There, that bastard's out of the way now. I can finally get go to price. Yeah, there's Voltorbs in there, but I need to buy more Pokeballs. Or Great Balls. I mean, I, I could go back. I could go back. Oh, you know what I should do, actually? I should go, um, west. Go to that little area where Suicune is, so... I can, you know, get it. Can Krabby learn cut? I need a, um... I think it can, right? Right? Come on. Come on. Right? Please. You can cut a tree, right? Yes! Steelix can learn cut? I didn't know that. I mean, I, I wouldn't do it, but I missed all the Suicune meeting spots and it still showed up. No, I just wanna- I need to go buy Pokeballs anyways. We can uh, detour. Unless they're selling. No, they're not. I think they start selling after. We can listen to the cool route music. It's me. I found you. Hi. Well, goodbye. Oh my god. This in the fire red and leaf green sound font. Oh my god. I think that's totally one of my favorite. Um, I think that's that could easily be like my favorite route music. The remix in fire red and leaf green. Of route whatever. Of the Lake of Rage music, I guess. Oh my god. Perfection. There's our apricorn trees. Also, Celix is really rugged with some sharp spots. So I guess it cuts... It cuts a hard figure. No, I just, I just, mm, I just didn't know. It's because, you know, I'm smart and I won't teach it, you know, cut. National Park has the best music in the game. That's true. Yo, Johto music is actually, you know, genius. Red theme from Battle Tree. Yeah, that one's good too. Come on. Yeah, the Sevi Island remix of it. Oh, it's so good. That's that's that could easily be my favorite route music in all of Pokemon. Oh. I feel like Celix could just eat a treat. No. He likes to eat dirt. I'm so glad I can use Steelix. I'm so happy. Thank you, Universal Pokemon Randomizer. Route 113. Oh, which one's that one? The route, that's the, that's the cycling road route, right? In Hoenn. Oh, I keep forgetting. What are you holding? Nah. Suit place? Oh. I thought that was the... Oh, you're still holding the metal coat? I thought you used it up when you evolved. Huh. Oh, right. Here, since uh, Game Freak abandoned you, may as well do it myself. I can't wait to learn Iron Miss. He straight up almost ate up Ethan in the anime by a Steelix under Team Rocket's control. Very cool. I love Steelix. Alright, that is good music. Oh, I think I mentioned it before, but there's a video I saw of the the lake. The lake theme from from home from Sinnoh, but in the 
the ruby sapphire and emerald sound font and it sounds like if you listen to it you can easily pa I, you can like show it to someone and be like here this is the lake theme from diamond and pearl and they'll believe it that's how good it sounds yeah just look up like Sinnoh lake theme in rc sound font it's really good did you teach mill tank attract no, I have different plans for Miltank. Miltank is going to be a cleric. I should teach it to Cherry though, because she's cute. Teach a track to Steelix, because he's a cutie patootie. There's only one attract TM. If anything, I kind of want to teach Cherry Sunny Day. Because if the moveset is. Price the Ice Enjoyer. The price is right. <laughs> okay. Dugong almost made the cut too. I like Dugong. It's just lesser Lapras though. Oh, rest. Darn. D I, like how I like how Dugong looks is shaded in Game Boy Color. We were talking about white shinies, quote unquote. It isn't shiny dugong like ivory? Or it's like a pale gold color, pale yellow. I like dugong pretties to call it a bootleg. I'm sorry, it's just lesser Lapras. Oh, does it price allow you to use Whirlpool? I can take a peek into the, the Whirl Islands. Price also got screwed with a bad team. Where's Terra? Terra was saying that. He's like, you should use Palo Swine. And I'm trying to wrap. How is Palo Swine good? I mean, Mamma Swine, yeah. But. What did he say it was? Oh, I think I remember what it was. No, I, I lied. I don't, actually. I don't know what his reasoning was. Oh, you're still here? <laughs> you said something about Piloswine. I forgot what it was. Was it because it's a ground type? I thought you left. I was like, hey, let's talk shit. <laughs> Three badges in one day. Dog, it has good stats, bro. Does it? Are you sure? I tried using it in my Emerald Johto randomizer and I don't think it worked out. Pyloswine bodies reds Pikachu. Oh. You stepped out for a minute. No, you stepped out for an hour. Go pancake. Real question, has anyone ever been skiing or snowboarding? That sounds like a rich people thing. It's skier. Anyways, Dugon has a nice shading in this game. There's just something about pure white Pokemon that is clean. I never have. It sounds rich. Of course I've never gotten it. It's too rich. Pure white. Damn. By Gen 2 standards, yeah, has good stats. In Stab Earthquake with Stab Ice Beam or Blizzard has a lot of good offensive targets. I guess. What do you think about the... the... What do you think about the... the poly... Porygon lane? Um, not, I don't really get to use it because it costs everything in, in red and blue. <laughs> oh, no, I like, I think I may have used it in a playthrough of Pokemon Platinum. I think I used Porygon Z. No, you just missed me getting, beating Chuck and Jasmine, I guess. I evolved the shiny Hoot Hoot into Noctowl and that's my ride. I'm waiting for Pancake to get Thunder. There's a resort like six hours from where I live, but it's expensive. Obviously, it requires that you check in for at least one week. Wow. Oh! 
You got me. You got me. Did you guys see that? Power Snow? Honestly, if I wanted the Cheese Crystal, I should have just picked up Jinx. Because Jinx was like uh, the number one Pokemon in Gen 1. Frozen pancakes not fresh. No. It really isn't. I'll save you. Okay. There we go. No, these pancakes are always fresh, never frozen. Has anyone been- I don't know, ice skating? Has anyone done anything with ice? <laughs> I heard you can- I- Um... Honestly, like, snowboarding it sounds scary, because I, I feel like you can break your legs easily. I don't know. I feel like you can dislocate- I don't know, you can probably, like, dislocate your kneecap or something. Something horrible can go wrong. I slipped on ice once. There it is. Single person in chat that did something with ice. <laughs> you should kick out Pancake and go with Piloswine instead. Just for the vine. No! What did Pancake ever do? Snowball fighting or things. Anyone have experience with ice? I slipped on it once. <laughs> We're just not ice people in chat. Understandable. See, no one goes skiing. It's just rich people activities. My brother goes snowboarding once in a while, and last year he fell off the lift and broke his arm. That's what I mean. I feel like you can easily break something. It does hit snow here. You don't want snow, trust me. I've been on a ski trip in school. I have only had one white Christmas. Ooh. Oh, why did I go Thunder Punch? Silly me. Huh. I live where it snows and it sucks. I hate it. I'd like to move somewhere else if I could. <laughs> Snow su- it sucks because you get like fine- well here, you can get like fined for leaving snow on- on the- on the- um- on the sidewalk. Oh my god, I can't- I almost forgot how to say sidewalk or what it was. The sidewalk, you can get like fined. I'm kind of like, can't, don't you guys have like something better to do than fine us? Skiing contributed to the Kennedy curse. <laughs> I don't know, man. Skiing is just something I don't think I'll ever get to do. It's just I feel like, like the lifting, having people like falling off. I don't know. How do you trust people to not fall off? It's the same energy. Yeah, here in town, I guess they try to keep it. What is it? Like you have to um take shovel the snow off the sidewalk, or else you get like fined. I feel like it's just a ploy to make money. It's really stupid. There's that one movie where those three people get stuck on a ski lift overnight. Is it... I was like, is it Dumb and Dumber? Th every time I think skiing, I just think of Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> the, the freaking movie. <laughs> like, that's the, the average skiing experience going to a ski resort. Like an Aspen or whatever. It's called Frozen. <laughs> but not the Disney movie. I was gonna be like, oh, you're, you're fucking with me, aren't you? I don't remember how to do this. Oh, I guess I do. Let's see. I think Pancake can lead... Sadly tells me his Pylosine doesn't know any, like, the ground moves. I 
I priced the winter trainer. Dude, Price's fit looks silly in this game. He looks like like some retired old guy that like lives in San Diego. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he got a better fit in the remake for sure. He just looks silly here. He looks like he's going to Walmart. I don't know. <laughs> Funny. My kind of fit. He looks like he just- he looks like he just so good. He looks like he's going to like Walmart or I don't know. Like he, he looks like he's gonna go like water the grass or whatever. He looks like he can he can pass as my neighbor. Let's see. Oh, Steely, let's try out your Iron Miss. I mean, Iron Tail. He's hitting like it's Gen One Blizzard. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Get him! Destroy him! Cool. Dugong. Destroy! Did you see what my Celix did to your boy? My boy. <laughs> I did not expect Pylosine to have a fan club. Come on, Steely. Just hang in there. See, I knew breeding for Rock Slide was a good idea. Who's ready for the jump between Price and Claire? He's gonna go back to bed. <laughs> Crystal Claire revolves around the creator loving Swinov. A lot of people like Swine. I feel like Swinov is one of those people like no one hates. Oh boy, I hope you gave me Blizzard. It's icy, of course. Mammoswine is such a weird evolution design for Pyloswine. No. It's a mammoth. You think he'd just get more hair? Oh no, he shaved. He got a buzz cut. Oh, here it is. Oh. No. No, they want me to do the rocket push portion of the game. I <laughs> can't. Yeah. No, please, it can't be. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. I can go back to, um... Does it miss to give you blizzard? I don't think she does. She, I don't think she gives you anything. They're pretty stingy with the Kanto gym leaders. I could... You can go all the way to Blacktorn before doing the rocket hideout. Oh. I... Oh, I need cut. So I could... Oh, there's one of those days of the week people, right? And I think they give a black belt. But I don't think I need that. Oh, either ways, it's Wednesday. Oh! I can get Sludge Bomb. Pancakes in the box. Boxed pancakes. But just to be sure, I think since you drove off Team Rocket, I can get Sludge Bomb here. Because I'm totally going to use it. Yeah. I got chased from my post and they left this behind. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm totally going to use it.
Yeah, I think there's a bunch of trainers you can fight. And they all get pretty good experience. So, I shall make use of that. I'd really like Cherry to evolve already. For being honest. Okay, there's the... Hmm. Let me try here. Oh. Maybe I'll do this and then I'll call it a night. Just do the Lake of Rage stuff and then I'll I'll probably just get do the, the rocket stuff just to get it over with. First thing the next time I stream. Ha! Huh. Put an puts an item that boosts fighting type moves. Only gave us rock smash and dynamic punch. No! They think you're gonna get a fighting type. You could probably use Machamp. Doesn't Machamp get um Doesn't Machamp get cross chop in this gen? So it's kind of a menace. Machop Mach Machamp, sorry. Machamp can save us from Snorlax. Ha. They're like, don't you want to use Black Belt and Dyna Dynamic Punch? I feel like in competitive, don't people consider like Dynamic Punch? Like it. Right? I feel like in competitive, they, they gotta consider Dynamic Punch. Maybe as a wall breaker against, I don't know, Blissey. Or Snorlax even. Good luck with Snorlax though. Marvin. Or are they not here yet? There should have been a trainer here. Either way, I can try to get hidden power and then... I don't know. I probably- there's no way I can make use of hidden power. Oh, I guess he's up here. The cool trainers are always fun to fight because they have a- they give a lot of experience, I think. Venusaur. There's the boy. Wouldn't you say Ivysaur is the poster child of middle evolution starters? It's just good. It's just a good trend. It's a smooth transition, honestly. It's perfect! Like Bulbasaur, like, when you know your Bulbasaur is getting stronger, what happens? The bulb opens. And then to Venusaur, it's very seamless. It's smooth. It's a very smooth transition. Me praising Gen 1. Oh. Slash with Charmeleon is a lightsaber in Gen 1. Oh yeah. Charmeleon would like a word. I'm praising all of them. But come on. People gotta like Ivysaur. Oh, speaking of the devil. See? There it is. You know what? I think I'm just gonna use Cherry. I, I really would rather just get her to level 36. Oh, there he is. It's Wednesday. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have. Beefs up the power of fighting type moves. Alright. As you say. Thank God Krabby can learn cut, because I did not want to switch the boxes. I'd be like, who would live this secluded? Me. I get it. Oh, do you guys remember in 
the the remakes how you can literally get like a choice specs somewhere over here choice specs in main story do you know how powerful that is like forget using setup moves Jeez Louise. Let's see. Hit it. Oh boy. Will you tell me? If only they, he would have like told you what type it is. But they didn't introduce that till like Gen 3, I think. I don't even want to get on the bike. That's how much I love this route music. I'll take the items though. What's this? Actually, what is this? Oh. No. Don't you think it's kind of redundant to have detect when protect is 10 pp and isn't detect only 5? So, what's the point of it? There isn't any. Jeez. In our reality, though, don't you think the, the route to, like, the whole route of Lake of Rage... Does anyone remember doing this? Destroying natural habitats. No repel, no problem. Just kidding, that takes too much time. But don't you think the route pr of from like Mahogany to Lake of Rage, don't you think it looked beautiful in real life? This is like something you'd probably see in, I don't know, Colorado. Like can you imagine just like deep forests like this in the mountains? And then you come here and there's like a beautiful lake. Oh. I can- yeah, come on! Think about it. Think deeper. Don't you think this would look beautiful in real life? It almost makes you want to go camping or hiking. I think so. Hmm... Honestly, let me just save my headbutts. Come on, Cherry, you gotta evolve. Oh, you're just a Magikarp guy, aren't you? Okay. Please don't have Magikarp. Yes! Okay. Oh, that's kind of scary, actually. Nope, I'm out of here. Look at two, some, two of my favorites battling it out. Duking it out. I love Gyarados, too. I sure love using Gyarados. Oh, you know what I should have done? I could have been like halfway through the uh, shiny only Pokemon because I could have used like Gyarados, Noctowl, and the shiny Pikachu. And then the rest just had to look for them myself. Like when they're like, oh, Pokemon Crystal, but shinies only. Just knock two off just to get on with your life. Dang. Hmm. Oh, is this a cool trainer? Yes! Okay. It would pop off. Is Gyarados still useful post physical special split? Yes! If anything, it got better. Of course it is. Gyarados got better. I'm telling you, if you did a shiny only run and edited it down, 
This implies I have to edit. <laughs> Thanks for this gameplay. Pokemon Crystal was my first Pokemon game. Oh, that's cool. How, what's it like going back? You should probably go back. It's fun. I did that like a month ago with Pokemon Red just to find myself again, I guess. I play Pokemon Red and Stadium. It's fun. You should go back as an adult. It suits your inner child. God, Safeguard would have been so nice in Stadium. Oh, it's because Stadium was just... Every Pokemon had Thunder Wave. We needed it back then. Mother. Found a useful item. Can you buy me the Clefairy doll? That's what I want. God, maybe if, if the Pokemon world were real, I'd probably live in, like, Mahogany Town. So I can go to, like, Rage every day. I'll be the hermit out there. No, maybe not too much of a hermit. I still have to go, like, shopping and stuff. Okay, Johto. Very nice. Is this shop open? No, it's not open yet. Okay. Oh, you can go to Blackthorn. I thought you were... Maybe it's in the remake that it just blocks you. Huh. They may be ace trainers now, but they'll always be cool trainers to me. I know. Ace trainer. Cool trainers. Why did they rename them? Come on, everybody wanted to be cool. You know what? Maybe next time I'll probably do... I honestly will probably just do the rocket stuff just to get it over with. It's a good excuse to try to involve Cherry, too. It's training for Claire. Quote-unquote. Think of it like that. Let's get that prophecy. <laughs> this mean the shinies. Uh, that probably would be good. Would do you guys? Honestly, I I would totally just speed up the rocket part. Just to just to get it over with. I hope you guys don't mind. It probably won't be like super speed up like I do. I probably go like maybe two hundred percent. Because it just gets out of control if I press the speed up button because there's no, like, limit. So I think I'll probably just, like, speed through it. No, don't. It's the essential Johto plotline. Oh, it's because no one cares. <laughs> oh, I guess it's the Johto exp Ugh. I have to, like, mentally prepare myself. Oh, fine. It is the Johto experience. Darn it all. I like how, like, they take the town hostage, but they let me shop. No, I'm kidding if you want to. Oh. You little jerk. Yeah, it's probably... Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it here. I need to like mentally prepare myself. I'll see you guys <laughs> mentally prepare myself for for the ugh, the rocket plot line. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.